Hey, hi. Hello to everyone and welcome to today's session study in the Nordic countries with a focus on Finland and Sweden. My name is Gisa Heim. Uh, I hold an MSc in higher education and science management and I am specialized in German and European higher education sectors since over 15 years. Uh, I'm a senior expert in the YUF slash assisted mobile app team and I'm based in Berlin, Germany and so happy to talk to you today actually. Uh, so today's session will have more or less uh, two big parts which is one introduction about study in Europe with this focus on Finland and Sweden and the second part will contain information about the assisted mobile app and its wonderful features to help you to find your way to study in Europe. So my first um, task is actually to convince you that it is a very good idea to study in Europe. Uh, Germany, uh, Sweden, Finland, Switzerland, Italy, France, Malta and many more countries are here to offer you excellent study programs. And unlike other European countries, some of these countries do not distinguish between local and international students when it comes to tuition fees. Countries like Germany, Switzerland, Austria, but also Italy offer scholarships to students based on their financial background as well as on their educational acumen. And there are hundreds of different types of scholarships available with most institutions. Um, so, but we know that there are many questions that you ask yourself once you try um, to find the right study program for you in Europe. And we are there to assist you uh, and help you and guide you through your way on your way to Scandinavia or other European countries. We are a professional recruitment and higher education consulting team with years of experience in recruitment for the European and worldwide higher education sector. We have experience not just in recruitments, but also visa processing, accommodation assistance and scholarships. We are committed to providing you assistance from start to end in every aspect of your university admission, application submission, coordination of the process with the university, visa support, accommodation, projects during your studies. Yes, we even will be there to help you with that, as well as other aspects. So we are the number one address to help you when it comes to study in Europe. Um, so let me first of all, not first of all, second of all, take you to study in the Nordic States. Nordic States have a very, very good reputation within Europe and also worldwide for their excellent higher education. The universities encourage you to think critically, independently and creatively. The countries have a pension for unique and specialized programs and are researchers' paradises. These higher education institutions have adapted to the Bologna process and the higher education in Nordic states is divided into the regular three levels of bachelor's, master's and the doctoral level. Pathway and foundation programs are leading to bachelor and master programs in the local language or if you need an extra qualification in order to qualify for admission. So about which states are we talking? We are talking particularly about the red states here, which is Sweden, and Finland. It's actually not the red states. This state in the middle is Sweden. The orange bigger state is Finland. And the one here at the rim is Norway. The small one north of Germany, my own country, is Denmark. And this island far, far off in the Atlantic Sea is Iceland. Uh, all of these countries have offer very, very good higher education and internships during the courses. A large part of the learning process takes place outside the classroom. Students graduate well prepared for the challenges and the demands of the working life. In many cases, it is not so difficult, not as difficult as in other countries, to get a spouse visa. And there is no age limit, which is often asked, um, for 
masters and PhD programs. So no matter how long your bachelor program is ago, your qualification is still valid and you can still apply and find a spot to get further higher education in a Scandinavian country. A little coffee. And then let's continue with Sweden. Beautiful Sweden. Here you see a nice panorama of Stockholm. Some facts about Sweden. Its capital is Stockholm. The currency is the Swedish krona. Um, Sweden is a part of the European Union, obviously, also of the Schengen region, which means that you can travel visa-free once you have a visa for Sweden to most of the European countries, to all of the European countries that form part of the EU Schengen area. But Sweden has, for example, not adopted to the euro. They kept their own currency, which is the Swedish krona. And one krona is, I believe, approximately seven euros. And seven kronas are approximately one euro this way around. And I'll give you information later about the costs of living in Sweden. The Swedish government invests a high proportion of gross domestic product in research and development than most other nations. Sweden is the country with the highest number of patents per capita in Europe. And Sweden is, of course, last but not least, home of the Nobel Prize. So every year, I think in your countries, it's possibly the same. You know, it's very exciting who's going to be the next Nobel laureate. So all of this comes from the Nobel Academy and Stockholm. So science plays a crucial role in official Sweden poli Swedish politics, in public politics, but also in the conscience of the Swedish people. So that's a good reason to come to Sweden to study. Higher education system is known for being one of the best in the world. Sweden tops the European innovation score, but when it comes to invention, startups, and so on. Language is definitely not a barrier, as the programs, especially the master programs, are taught in English. There's a very high employment rate and a high and high average sorry, high average wages per hour. There is a diverse and wide range of study programs from engineering to social sciences, humanities, and so on. Everything is offered. And student nations organizations specially responsible for organizing student events are very present around the campus. And well-being really plays a central role in the student life. And the universities really feel responsible for this well-being of students. The Swedish passport, if you're thinking about maybe finding your future in Sweden, is the second most powerful of the world. And Sweden is one of the world's most innovative nations. It has been called the most digitally connected economy as well. So this is something that we and we Sweden for as Germany, because Germany is definitely the land of ideas, but not exactly the land of digitalization. So congratulations to our Swedish neighbors. You are doing a very, very good job. The cost of education and living. The living expense is between 750 and 800 euros per month. This is of course converted. I told you that in Sweden you stay pay with you still pay with the Swedish krona. There are 14 public universities and 17 no, yeah, and 17 public university colleges in Sweden. There is a career center at each university so that you can make sure that during your studies. You can already get advice if you're planning to stay in Sweden or even maybe move to another European country to work there and be well prepared for your professional career. Tuition fees range from 6,000 to 500 to 8,000 euros per semester, which is quite affordable, I think, if you compare it, for example, with UK. So what about scholarships? There are scholarships uh, provided to international students for the tuition fees, but for the very gifted also for the living expenses. Scholarships are, for example, provided by the Swedish Institute, dedicated to international students applying to master's degree programs. Scholarships are also offered through the so-called VISPI program, the partnership between Eastern EU countries and Russia. Awards are often are offered to students who apply to programs focusing on subject areas related to sustainability, innovation and corporate social responsibility. Scholarships offered by individual universities, 
Each institution is free to decide the amount, duration, and admission criteria for scholarships. Country-specific scholarships offered to international students from certain countries. Funds come from universities, independent foundations, and other types of organizations. And finally, of course, always available, there's the Study Portal Scholarship, the International Distinction Awards. So you see, in Sweden, it depends a little bit which university you choose, where you would like to go. You have some state-funded scholarships for the tuition fees and living expenses. And then at each individual university, you also have a scholarship of possibilities. Maybe at the richer universities, you have more scholarship possibilities than at others. So we'll list now for you the top universities that you find in Sweden. The number one in Sweden is the Karolinska Institute. Not surprising, you might have heard of it, is kind of the technical university and university institute of the Nordic countries, I'd say. I think it's the most popular, most uh, famous scientific institution in Scandinavia. As a second, you have Lund University. That might surprise you because the Lund is definitely not the capital um, of Sweden. It is a small town south of Sweden, close to Denmark, very beautiful, a typical student's town. And they have the biggest and the high ranked full university of Sweden. A beautiful place to be, a very, very good university, followed by other extremely strong universities like Uppsala University, Stockholm University and the University of Gothenburg. Chalmers University of Technology, the KDH Royal Institute of Technology, Örebro University, and the Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences. So these are the top-notch institutions. You can see maybe that if you compare it to the worldwide ranking, there are a few universities who make it among the top 200, let's say, worldwide. Um, and the other universities rank more far behind. But don't get misleaded by that. It very often doesn't really depend on the worldwide ranking. It depends on the facts on the ground, whether this is a really good university and you get strong education there or not. This is why we also would like to mention Swedish schools with which we have very, very good experiences where we sent and mediated a, and motivated a lot of students to go to. Um, and these students are absolutely happy. They get a very good curriculum very good programs and advice and so on. So these are John Köping University, Hamstad University, Linnaeus University, the University of Sköfte, Linköping University, and Umeå University. Some of them are quite far up north, like Umeå, for example. So you might also opt for something in the south of Sweden. Um, but we'll have universities more far north uh, when we move to Finland in a second. So all of these universities, basically, actually, any Swedish university, highly recommendable to study there. And then, if you like, pursue your career in Sweden with a strong collaboration between academic institutions and industry, always, and skilled professionals in the field of computer science, IT, web development, psychology, and preschool education are in high demand. The presence of world-renowned Swedish companies for example, IKEA, Spotify, Volvo, Ericsson, AstraZeneca, Tetra Pak, H&M, and others, it speaks for uh, the positive impact that economics have on Sweden and the other way around, and that it's a very good option also to stay in the country. Now, many of you are always interested in the question, can I actually get a permanent residence? Yes, you can. The post-study visa option is 12 months which is not bad. It's more tolerant in some other European countries, I must say. For example, Germany allows 24 months, but 12 months is okay, especially if the job market is good, which it is in Sweden. And you have had a residence permit for work for four years. You must have also worked in Sweden for at last 44 months during your permit period to be able to receive a permanent residence permit. Or if you have lived in Sweden and had a residence permit for doctoral studies for a total of four years over the past seven years, you may also be able to get a permanent residence permit. So the idea is if you are there and work for four years, you can apply for the permanent residence permit. Maybe one word because some students always ask me about PhD uh, in Scandinavia. 
it's usually, especially in Sweden and Denmark like that, you have to find an employment as a PhD student. There are no PhD students that are purely enrolled as students. It's only possible with the job position offered by the university. Okay. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. We'll have uh, a lot of time to answer questions uh, at the end of the session, which will be in like 15 minutes. I need 15 more minutes, I guess. So um, yeah, all of your questions that you might have concerning Sweden will have a lot of time for us later. Let's move to Finland. So Finland, this is, by the way, a panorama of Helsinki, a city which I very, very much like. A little overview. Finland is a northern European nation bordering Sweden, Norway and Russia. Helsinki is the capital of Finland and is the home to the most beautiful northern lights. Education is a strong part of Finnish culture from preschool years into adulthood. And let me tell you, we in Germany always send people, researchers and so on to Finland to find out what's the secret about their school system, because their school system is already very successful, very fair, offering a lot of equal opportunities and plays a big, big role in the Finnish national conscience. Uh, Finland's top ranked higher education systems offers more than 400 English taught bachelor's and master's degree programs in 13 universities and 22 universities of applied sciences, UAS, that are also very, very strong in Finland. Finnish higher education institutions have over 20,000 international students studying in several locations around Finland. So you see, you won't be the first and you won't be alone, you won't be a pioneer. Finland is really experienced in having international students and make, giving them a good time. The safety index is very high with 78.7, uh, it's the 12th worldwide. And this Finland is supposed to be the happiest country in the world, according to the World Happiness Report. Or let's say the inhabitants of Finland count themselves as the happiest people in the world. Not bad. Good conditions for going there to study, right? Some more reasons to go there to study. Being on a student visa, Students are allowed to work up to 25 hours per week in Finland. According to Statistics Finland, 55% of university students reported having an employment contract while studying. So the opportunities are very good. One year post-study visa will be granted to the student if they wish to stay back in Finland. As per studies conducted, almost 50% of the international students stay back in Finland after their graduation. Work-based residence permits can be applied for once the student obtains a full-time employment. The student will be eligible for permanent residency after working for four consecutive years, so that's pretty much the same condition as in Finland. Cost of living and education are of course something to consider. And there are two different aspects to consider. First of all, the tuition fees and related scholarship options. In addition to that, your everyday living costs. Finnish higher education institutions offer a range of scholarship options for those non-EU and EEA students, which is based on different universities. The annual tuition fee depends on the university and the program, varying between 4,000 and 18,000 euros, which sounds very high, but for the good quality and the relatively low living costs, mm, it's quite a bargain. Monthly living expenses for students, including food, accommodation, travel, insurance, and so on, are between 700 and 900 euros, depending actually on whether you drink alcohol or not, because this is something really, really very expensive in the Nordic states. If you don't need alcohol, it's quite, it's a lot better. It can be a bit challenging to get fresh fruit because they are so far up in the north that they can grow only potatoes and strawberries and have to import the rest. But anyways, we want to talk about academia, not about strawberries, right? Scholarships. Finnish government EU scholarships for international students are available, like Erasmus Mundus scholarship programs in Finland, as Finnish universities participate in a number of study programs which are funded by Erasmus Mundus scholarships. 
there are university scholarships. So depending on the university where you apply to, you'll find scholarships at Alto University, which offers a number of full scholarships for non-EU EEA, meaning international citizens in these programs. The scholarships will be allocated in order of merit. How University of Helsinki, the biggest and most important university of Finland, as Alto University would not like to hear because they are direct competitors. Um, so University of Helsinki scholarships for international student, students are intended for excellent students from outside the EU for master programs. And there are many more options once you dig with the help of our assisted mobile app into the details. Maybe two remarks concerning scholarships, with, which are also valid for Sweden, of course. Um, it is very difficult to find scholarships for uh, the bachelor's level. Normally institutions, universities and so on do give scholarships, but on the master's level, um, if they are in order of merit, because you need to prove that you're really good in your field of study. And you can do this only by showing your bachelor's degree, right? So for those of you who are looking for scholarships for bachelor programs, it's really, really difficult, I must admit. It's much better to get um, somehow get a degree in your home country, if you can somehow make it, and then study abroad for your master's degree. But not to discourage you, I'll tell you what the top ranked universities in Finland are, which are the University of Helsinki, Aalto University, also in Helsinki, the University of Turku, Tampere, University of Eastern Finland, University of Ulu, of Jaskile, and the La Penranta University of Technology, as well as the Apo Academy University. These are all very, very good universities. Um, and um, I can just recommend you to study there. Some of them, as I said, are really very, very far up in the north. Okay, and we haven't listed other universities in Finland, so there are, of course, many, many other top universities or very good universities with a nice study uh, environment. But we'll guide you through the list if you download the assisted mobile app and would like our help to identify the perfect match for you in Finland. Not to forget that there are great career prospects in Finland. It is home for two of the world's largest companies like Kono OIJ, which is an international engineering and service company across 60 countries worldwide. It was founded in 1910 and has its headquarters located in Espo, a city that is almost a part of Helsinki, at least it's very close. The company has been ranked as the 32nd most uh, sustainable companies in 2020. Then, of course, there's the famous Nokia Corporation, producing much more than mobile phones, is the Finnish national, multinational telecommunications, information technology and consumer electronics company, founded in 1865. So that's already quite a while that Nokia is on the market. The headquarters are equally located in Espo. Okay. So let's move to the last part of my presentation, which is about the world's number one assisted, assisted mobile app for international education in Europe. So I explained to you on two examples what you can discover through our app and the pathways that you can find to study in Europe. So I think the tech team will be so kind and uh, put some information in the chat how you can actually download our assisted mobile app. Um, and we aim at connecting three parties. So we work with magical triangles. We aim to connect students, experts and universities. Students looking to study overseas for their higher education can use the app for searching and applying to top universities getting virtual counseling, participate in discussion forums, get information and support for visa processing projects and accommodation. Educational experts can get access to an active community and guide them for their higher education needs. They can even conduct online counseling and events to promote their services or participate in forum discussions and more. 
educators can register their universities here and promote their study programs to a diversified student community. They can post news and events on upcoming programs or new accreditations received to attract more students to the Institute via the assisted mobile app. The process flow is very, very easy. So welcome to try it out. So download the app, which is available for both iOS and Android formats and can be downloaded from the App Store or Google Play Store. Create an attractive profile, but an honest profile, right? Because we are going to check your credits and going to consult you to which universities you can go. So it doesn't really make sense to invent good marks. Um, with all, we need all the information to supplement your search and enable us to find the best matching study program for you. You can search through a wide range of university options using multiple filters to find your best choice. And there is so much to do, like join virtual meetings, read up on a news article, search for good housing options, or book an appointment for counseling. And of course, you can share the great news with your peers, inform them that there is a really easy way to orient yourself towards studying in Europe. We offer you a very, very comfortable search engine where you can search for universities and get all the details on their study programs, intake periods, and their scholarship options. You can filter your search not only based on country study programs and tuition fees, but also, which is very innovative, according to IELTS and TOEFL requirements, because so many students in these sessions ask me, do I really need an IELTS test? It's so expensive. I don't want to do it. Yes, you can filter. Uh, and then find out where you can access universities without an IELTS test. How could be possible? Uh, if you're confused between two or more schools, this tool is really excellent because you can simply use the compare feature to evaluate them on different parameters to choose the best. Universities details will contain everything from date of inception to the university program list, campuses, ranking, and more in a very, very structured and comparable layout. Because you might have tried to compare Italian websites, even national websites, with Swiss websites, with Finnish websites. And Swedish websites is very, very difficult to get the overview if you cross borders. So with the search engine of the Assist Mobile app, which, by the way, is completely for free, right? It's used for free. Um, you can really clearly identify your options and compare them directly and then go ahead just one finger tip away, apply to these universities via one simple button and everything will be great. So you can explore events with us, housing and accommodation is a point which I'm going to point out a bit later. And with the SIST app, you get to explore the Europe's number one internship portal Praxis. Exposure to an international work environment, an opportunity to build a global career profile and much more. So. How does it work? As soon as you're admitted to the uh, university of your choice or to the university where you were able to get admission to, we are going to offer you scholarship, uh, not scholarship, traineeship and internship and project options via the great internship portal Praxis. Within the app, you find chats and forums. And of course, you also find the function to contact an agent near you in case you would like to have a uh, physical consultation, in-person meeting, and you don't trust all of this app stuff. But actually, we believe that this is very innovative and this is a very good idea um, to have these online virtual app-assisted experts, because with a drastic increase in online services, it's now essential to have virtual options for communication and higher education. With the assisted expert feature, you get the opportunity to connect with an international education expert with years of experience and knowledge in the European higher education sector who can guide you in each and every aspect of your university, of your European university admission process. About scholarships, I have uh, mentioned already scholarship options when I was talking about Sweden and Finland in more detail. So scholarships in the form of full or partial tuition fee waivers are the most common international scholarships offered by universities and are usually in the academic category. 
Tuition fee scholarships are the next best thing to fully funded scholarships in the sense that a good portion of your study costs is already covered. With the assisted mobile app, you can browse through the wide range of scholarship options available for different countries and locate the option that best suits your profile. Additionally, you can choose to talk to our assisted experts who are fully equipped to guide you through the procedures. Now a word on accommodation. I told you that we like to use triangles to connect people. So we connect students who look for uh, accommodation, our experts and the accommodation providers. With the assisted mobile app, we eliminate the need for you to browse for hours. Instead, we bring unlimited housing options at your fingertips. Get details of the apartments with price, dimensions, contact information and pictures. So admission providers can post and share the information. And you, if you're looking for an apartment in the town where you got university uh, admission, we are there to help in the back end to help you judging, okay, this is really close to campus. This is uh, a bit too far away. I'm going to study at the natural science campus in Turku, so I'd better stay in this part of town and things like that that don't necessarily come with information with your admission letter, um, especially when it comes to European universities that do not have campus accommodation on their campus, which are many. Okay, visa support services, whether for higher education or internships, the assisted mobile app offers service to support all your visa related requirements from A to Z. You can get all the information from visa procedures to documents, interviews and more. And you can talk to our experts virtually and get step-by-step -step assistance about questions like which type of visa, how to apply, where to apply, what are the documents needed for my visa, how will I crack the visa interview, what are these guys going to ask me, and which insurance do I need, the university where I got admission from didn't really tell me, things like that, don't worry, don't do too much research on dubious websites, just ask us, I get our support and we'll help you. And that's it. This is how to find us, www.assistaduapp.com. You can share the great news uh, that you found this app and that this is a nice and smooth pathway to study in Europe. And I thank you very much today for your attention. In the name of the Assisted Mobile App team, we are happy if you start to download the app now and try out a little bit. I'll be available for another, let's say, if you like, 15 minutes um, to answer your questions. If they're very detailed about you personally, your study program, your score, whatsoever, I might transfer you to the backend team or ask you to um, actually download the mobile app and contact us via the app. If you can't, for technical reasons, download the app right now. Um, you can always contact us via email. You'll find the contact details on our website. Um, yeah, but general question and up to a certain degree, also special question. I, I'm prepared to answer them. So take up and take advantage of the opportunity you have now. Um, and I'll be there with you in a second. Okay, sorry, Nora. <laughs> sorry to keep you wait. Uh, what is the stay back uh, period in Sweden and in Finland? Um, it's 12 months after graduation to find an adequate job that pays a salary that is adequate for an academic. So you couldn't work with a McDonald's, for example, I mean, unless you work in the management of McDonald's. Mm. And then if you have worked uh, in an adequate position for four years, you can apply um, for the permanent residence. Yes, Nora, you can study bachelor's in Sweden. Um, 
but there's a, let's say there's a smaller range of bachelor's programs that are taught in English. Um, there are parts of bachelor programs that are taught in English, um, but you wouldn't find as big a range of uh, bachelor programs than you would find if you study Swedish, for example. But the assisted mobile app allows you also to look for, um, for all the study offers on the bachelor's level. So yes, there is a broad range. The question about studying bachelor's in Sweden or in, in the whole of Europe, I'd say it's difficult to find scholarships. Very, very difficult to find scholarships. Um, because most of the scholarship providers, they want to be sure that you are academically valid and qualified. So they ask you to show your bachelor degree for the scholarship application. But other than that, yes, of course, welcome to browse all of the options. Sweden also welcomes international students and bachelor programs. All the other countries do, by the way, also Germany, just to hold up the flag for Germany a little bit. With 60%, can you get admission in Sweden? Sumya asks. Um, depends a lot uh, for what and where, I'd say. So if you write me, I don't know the all of the admission requirements of all of the universities and all of the subject fields. This would actually be something that you could find out using the assisted mobile app. Um, but if you want to type in into the chat which field of study and you finish with 60% and what you would like to study in, in uh, Sweden, I might be able to give you a good guess. But this is definitely a question that my colleagues from the back end would have to check so I don't tell you anything wrong. You've done BBA last year with 63. Can I get admission in Finland without IELTS? <laughs> hmm. I'm not so sure. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you from scratch, but I know that our magical mobile app can tell you immediately because there all the data is stored and gets together, you know, so the system knows whether this is enough as a requirement um, to either email our team or, um, yeah, or download the app and try out uh, what, what it says. Uh, these are very detailed questions. Just one general hint, I'd say. Um, please do consider Germany also as an option. Because in Germany, I know that there are um, a lot of universities and universities of applied sciences that do accept, um, if you studied your BA degree in English language, they accept this as a language requirement. You wouldn't need an extra test to meet the requirements, like no IELTS, TOEFL or something. You're three years old. Uh, sorry, three years old. Sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. 30 years old. I'm just laughing about myself, Gisu. No, no, no offense. Um, can you get admission? Yeah, but 30 years is nothing. Of course. I mean, at all the European universities, there is no age limit. It's completely out of the question. It would be even forbidden by national laws in Scandinavia to discriminate someone who's... Uh, who has already done some something else in his or her life. That's no problem at all. Okay, that's more, not, not more exciting. That's also an exciting question. You're 39 years old, Jalin, and you want to apply for bachelor's program in Finland. I can take IELTS. Can you let me know when will I get the admission? Ooh, tech team intake period in Finland. 
Scandinavians start early, so I think they start in August. They take applications, I guess, from January, February. Application deadlines possibly being end of February, beginning of March. Um, and then admissions in May. Uh, then you would have to plan your visa. And exactly. So make sure three things. Um, first of all, yes, please do your IELTS. But before, check out on our, uh, within our mobile app, whether you really need an IELTS for the BA program that you choose. And um, make sure that you're prepared to really thoroughly look that this BA program is taught in English, because there are not so many English taught options um, in the bachelor's level in Finland. And you're sure that you don't want to learn Finnish because Finnish is really, really difficult to learn. You can learn it a bit once you're in Finland. So do a good research and we'll help you with that, with the backend team of the Assistant Mobile App. Which are the programs available? What are the program requirements? And what are the deadlines? I guess you'll find English taught BA programs in Finland all over, but not so much choice. You will need an IELTS test and you should possibly do it in December or January because I'm quite sure that the application deadlines are sometime in late January, early February. Um, and then we can accompany you with your application. You're so welcome. Just find a little bit out where you want to go and we help you with that. We even help you with finding out, of course. These are so interesting questions. Do you have more questions? I hope that was helpful, Jalen. I think for all of you who have really detailed questions, um, it would be a good idea to, to really download the app and go through it and, and check our options because there are so many. And, you know, I didn't even mention um, Norway and Denmark today because I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want you to listen to me for one hour. Um, but really, there are a lot of good study options and Scandinavia, also from Germany, I must admit, so many students go to Scandinavia actually for the student exchange because the systems work well, the universities have high reputation, Life, lifestyle is kind of relaxed. It's a very, very good option. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be here for another three minutes if you have more questions. Anything you wanted to ask about European higher education in general or in special, now is the opportunity. But of course, you can always refer back to our team. You can always download the mobile app and begin your journey to your European university of your choice. I'll be I'll just switch off the mic. I'll be here for another two minutes in case you'll have more questions. Okay, we don't want to take more of your time. I guess you're all busy downloading uh, the app, which I can really only recommend to you. The team will be around for another two minutes while the final video is playing. 
And for all of you, I wish you a good and successful journey to the European University of your dreams. Good success for that and welcome to Europe. Thanks for listening and goodbye.